Hi and welcome to our lesson on converting decimals to fractions. Today we will be converting decimals that are greater than 1 into fractions. To do this, we will look at the place value of the digits in a decimal number. Remember that after a decimal point, we have tenths, hundredths and thousandths. Decimal places are infinite, but we will concentrate on these three. Tenths, hundredths and thousandths represent fractions. The tenths column represents fractions out of ten. The hundredths column represents fractions out of a hundred. And the thousandths column represents fractions out of one thousand. We've looked at how we can convert decimals less than one into a fraction, but what if the decimals are greater than one? For example, 3.2. We'll use the place value columns to help us. Looking at 3, 3 is on the left hand side of the decimal point. It is in the units column and it's a whole number. So we can simply start by writing 3. Now we can concentrate on the right hand side. 2 is in the tenths column. The denominator is therefore 10. The 2 shows how many tenths we have, and we have 2, so 2 tenths. Our number is 3 and 2 tenths. To take it a step further, the fraction can be simplified to a fifth by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 2. This gives us 3 and a fifth. Here we have 5.33. We start by looking at the whole number on the left hand side of the decimal point. Our whole number is 5, so we can just write that down. Now we look at the decimal number on the right hand side, 0.33. It finishes in the hundredths column, so the denominator is 100. Reading the number across from the decimal point, we have 33, so 33 hundredths. Our answer is 5 and 33 hundredths. 7.03 Again we can simply write down the whole number, which is 7. Now we can look at the decimal. 0 0.03 finishes in the hundredths column, so our fraction is out of 100. Reading across from the decimal point, we can see that we have 3. So we have three hundredths. Our answer is seven and three hundredths. 2.607. The whole number is two, so we can write that down. The decimal number finishes in the thousandths column. So the denominator is a thousand. Now we can simply read the number after the decimal point. This is 607. So we have 607 thousandths. Our answer is 2 and 607 thousandths. 4.4. We can write down the whole number, which is 4. The decimal number finishes in the tenths column, so the fraction is out of 10. Reading across from the decimal point, we have the number 4. So we have four tenths. The answer is four and four tenths. To take it one step further, four tenths can be simplified to two fifths by halving both the numerator and the denominator, giving us four and two fifths. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video and have a go. Question 1. 2.2. The whole number is 2, so we can write that down. The decimal number finishes in the tenths column, so we will have a fraction out of 10. Reading across from the decimal point, we have 2, so 2 tenths. To take it a step further, 2 tenths can be simplified to 1 fifth by halving both the numerator and the denominator. This gives us two and a fifth. 
Question 2. 6.53. The whole number is 6, so we can write that down. The decimal finishes in the hundredths column, so the denominator is 100. Reading across from the decimal point, we have 53, so 53 hundredths. Our answer is 6 and 53 hundredths. Question 3. 7.909. 7 is a whole number, so we can just write that down. 0 0.909 finishes in the thousandths column, so our denominator will be a thousand. Reading across from the decimal point, we have 909, so 909 thousandths. Our answer is 7 and 909 thousandths. Question 4. 1.004. We can write down the whole number straight away, which is 1. The decimal ends in the thousandths column, so the denominator will be a thousand. Reading across from the decimal point, we have the number 4, so we have four thousandths. Our answer is 1 and 4 thousandths. To take this a step further, both numerator and denominator can be divided by 4 to give 1 over 250. Thank you for watching. For further practice, please have a go at the questions provided.